Howdy, partners. We gonna giddy on up. I've been so far into the story that I don't even remember where I'm at. I mean, I do, but I like to start from the beginning. Twenty-three is where I'm at. All right. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather... Hey! I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know, dies. Old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah!
him in here. It's mighty cold out here. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, this is from bring the beginning, in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Speech. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be OK. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Whiskey time. Stay strong. Stay with me. We yeah, because you're the one that let us yet. here. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. OK. I want to ride my horse oh, in the hotel road. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Careful over this bridge here. Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get mm -hmm. those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. 
But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Easy. Shoot! Shoot it! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> I like a party. How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. In front of him. Go on. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but shelter. So, this house. You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. So a little nice. further. Oh, goddamn, this snow. It's right to the bone. <laughs> How much further? Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Whoa. Okay. Let's head down there. Very little health in yeah. all this cold. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front.
Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry. Uh, what you want? Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food. in the wagon. Oh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of <clears throat> desperate. <clears throat> hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's got. Yeah. Look out! There's more to the bed. Sprinting this snow. I'm letting this guy go. Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something. That... Get your strength up for the ride back. Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Take it all. <clears throat> I love classic oat cakes. What else? 
Vamos. What you told me to, man. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. <gasps> what are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Please spare me. I promise you, you won't see me again. Porter, they don't tell me nothing, I swear. Get the hell out of here. Go. So it's LB to pick up your gun, but X to pick up your hat. Take it easy. Easy. You're okay. Whoa, now easy. Shh, shh, shh. Easy there. Whoa, now easy. 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 Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, you know what this means. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Yeah, new horse. You let him go, huh? So all the little bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a death. decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Micah is a drag it's gonna be okay. ass. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. 
We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are yeah, we saw him. safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. <laughs> We're bad men. Get on. We'll yeah, keep yeah. you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Shoot! Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Comb or Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found... Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. That's it. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan? We put you in a room over here. Kind of weak. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> What's a darkie? No. That is. <clears throat> he ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Smoke. 
Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. I don't want to inspect. Come on. Okay, boy. Let's go. Let's Can't cross. just look at it from the See horse. Continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Trail again. Almost there, boy. Come on now. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? Eso. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on! Up there! That shot. I'm from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Down this I'd rather way. have my six shooter. Honestly. You sure about this? Coming from Let's this just way. leave him. Okay. It's slippery. We didn't Careful. find nothing. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. Mm -hmm. 
Drops down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. Watch your head here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! Days? I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Hmm. Come on. John, can you hear me? John, you there? Marston, you hear me? That's John! We're coming! Over here! Down here! Alright! Hot down, Marston! He's down here! Cause an avalanche. That's quite a scratch you got there. <clears throat> Man! I never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well... Can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't <laughs> argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Take no damage. Coming down the hill. Ah. Get out of here. 
Roadkill. We got more wolves on the left. Stay back. Get the hell out of here. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Fuck him up, Hulk. You see any more out there? Don't think so. Oh, no, I'll run him down Jesus. if I do, though. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. You see those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. Civilization. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Civilization. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. And zero accuracy. It's strong. We get warm. And we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. You have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. Mm -hmm. I need any health care? Pretty good, huh? Well, I'll take it. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. And we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, and we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now, for now, we got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Hosea. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never going to find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son, for your strength. It means a lot to me. Good morning. Morning. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. 
and they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you can wait then. Well, just hang in there. All right, then. How are you holding up? I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> we'll find a way off of here soon. All right, Arthur. Another cold morning. How are you feeling? Not too bad, considering. That's it. Try to stay positive. Okay, Arthur. Starved to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to <laughs> in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look Ooh. at your hands. That's awful. I'm listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Gia! Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. None of us do. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good.
some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Whoa! deer been here recently how can you tell <clears throat> how can you not let's walk it from here you're gonna need the bow don't leave it on your horse the gun will scare everything around quiet as you can stay low and move slowly You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. There it is. Shh. Down there. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Try no. to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel that it's too much. Quick. Uh, oh my gosh. Take your time. <laughs> I really don't want to go in the water. It's too late. Damn, it moves so much. Okay. What is going on? Try again. Oh, yeah. Come to my side, baby. That was like zero stamina.
Dinner time. On your head. Come on, you're making yourself too obvious. Careful, this might be our only chance for a good meal. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. When you are, come on, then. Let's head back. <laughs> nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan.
notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? <laughs> we give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. That girl from the ranch now, too. Not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Hmm. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Yep, there it is. Bear country. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. They must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Stand behind you. We need you first. Why are we still going towards it? <laughs> Jeez. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. He also got us into this mess. Don't forget that. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fucked me faster than a bull. 
Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hit over here. Brought some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow proper. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just shoot right there, right in front of me, man. Go ahead. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we <laughs> haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got <laughs> on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. Yes, I hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. You make it look so easy. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. You okay? How are you doing? Look at us. What kind of question is that? Gonna be all right. Okay, brother. Ah, I did not spook the deer. Man, I didn't know that was probably a checklist. Boys, Hold because on, I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many <laughs> long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A party. laughs> yeah, probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> so you know, man, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... <clears throat> you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. 
Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right <laughs> off! See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready, ready Dutch good now mr. Morgan and I we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr. Williamson mr. Bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr. Summers mr. Escuela you two hold position here Let's go. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Dirty bastard. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> they leaving? Seem mm. to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. 
All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems it's easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. We're gonna be bumping into each other's whole down trip. It's steep here. Careful. How do they not see us yet? <laughs> I'm start hitting fellas. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We have to move on this right now. Okay, I'll go first. I wouldn't have done. Feller didn't have much choice. Was picking his teeth off the floor. And you didn't tell him nothing. Not a word. Jeez. Get in the 
cover. Headshot, biatch! I think that's all of them! Search the bodies! Strip everything we can from them! You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not! Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, and ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the trees! You got my forty on me.
We actually do. I can't lift this guy. Come on. Told me to loot all the bodies. That's what I'm doing. Arthur, get over here. These motherfuckers owe me some money. Telepathically read some shit. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives. Yeah. Let's go. It's in that box. I ain't never searched that box before. Think, Bill? Well, looks fine. You guys can build. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Got them. Hand down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait Outlaws for time. life. Mac. Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. 
Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. No, not drop. Come on. Pick up. Oh my god, dude. Oh god, no. <laughs> Ran his ass over. Ran his ass over. I knew that was gonna happen. How the hell did he die? Stole him on the horse. He just threw him underneath it. Some bow. They're like, you're doing too good, soldier. You old outlaw, you. Leave him to me. Ah! Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Please don't. <laughs> now, let's put him on the back of the horse. Just Thank let me go. you. Oh, come on. Today. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name. <laughs> it's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Yeah, that's it, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Let me go. I'll disappear. I'll go to Mexico. There, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. I hardly know him. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. die mister I don't know nothing real about them honest they don't tell me nothing I swear are you trying to test me is that it because I will break every bone in your body I'm sorry I'm sorry okay not one more goddamn word am I clear okay okay that's two bones right there <laughs> it's two bones right there Oh, 
Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll <laughs> in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. A few days later, Been a bad few weeks. <coughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. Look at you. <laughs> That's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. It's Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! <laughs> Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Still from the rich. Give to the poor. We're moving out. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. 
I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. We're robbing the train. Now come on. Let's ride. I was in back, then I was in front, then I was in back again. <laughs> the editing. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell. Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? <laughs> That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back. Uh, when I say we go uh, back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Come on, boy. We're all good here. Head back up there. It comes off. 
I heard you the first time. Have to say, I'm rather looking forward to this. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here. For any minute now. <coughs> Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It was fine. It was my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? <laughs> Here we go! No!
right in the mouth. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we now go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> You're wow, pushing me around. Jesus. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers no, and cabinets? Looks like Let's hurry this along, boys. <clears throat> Inspect what? <laughs> What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? 
What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get a move on. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Ooh. Speaking of all your friends out here. What the? Thirty nine cents. Man, there's a lot on this train.
56 cents. He's rich. I guess economy or the uh, inflation, that would have been like $56. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Two hours in and we've barely even scratched the surface. Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, <coughs> let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wig? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you 
you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. <laughs> Spot it, that just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low? It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah.
break this wheel off again. There you are, brother. Head in there and follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. So hurry the fuck up then. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place Here is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. For now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. Speech. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. I can use we put you over a here. Map. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. A couple of weeks later Got off the mountain and Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. The 
His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. <clears throat> For the first time in weeks, nothing. <coughs> We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, dear. What's all this compendium of this? Five percent. That's it. On this one. Six minutes. I was whooping them horses the whole time. How do you get in less than six minutes? Could use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? not smell of campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. <laughs> hi there. They already said hi. concern of yours I'm hungry I don't give a damn Look, y you seem like a decent fella behind it all then you ain't a good judge of character <laughs> yeah well we'll leave it there then
<laughs> this shit is good. Be enough for me to have a couple of bites. <laughs> oh, there it is. More than enough. Yes. Hi there. Chores build up your dead eye. In case he's wondering what I'm doing. Go through a lot of food in this camp, huh, Arthur? Remember, lift from the knee. How is Grimshaw? Good work. That'll keep Pearson happy. You choke on it. <laughs> it just takes time, Miss Sadler. I wish. I gotta wish they would have killed me too. I know. I wish it every goddamn day. I know. You know, if I had any courage if I wasn't so damn weak. I'd kill myself, too. We both know that ain't true. We both know the bravery is in the living. I, I don't know you very well, but I can tell you're brave and sad, but I really can. I don't seem very brave. Nonsense. You're about the bravest woman I ever met. That tells me you got the courage. The courage to live. I hope so. I really do. I know so. Nobody else is gonna do the work around here. It's kind of like me at work, like in the real world. Thank you, Arthur. Perfect. Hey, a perfect weight. I'm always at like average.
Look at this. Look at this. Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Careful not <laughs> to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check Don't the horses. Take my already. horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride. You gonna take the old man in town? No you take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robbing. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got house me. chores got to get done, though. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Cause it's like that. Look at that Koji. He's all over the place. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Yeah, I see it. It looks pretty spooked. Whoa, easy. Easy. Whoa. Easy there. Uncle, Easy. Easy. It's okay. Easy there. Here you go. 
You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Y'all have it now? Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. <laughs> well, Arthur, uh, I'm proud of you. <clears throat> to be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very fun. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Hey there, okay. mister. Okay. Take Hello. a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Hey there. Hi. I can't seem to catch a break today. I know how you feel. Hi there, Mister. Hey, Mister. Hey. Hello there. Hey, partner. Hello there. Hi there, Mister. Hey, Mister. Good morning, partner. Hello. Good morning, sir. Hey there, mister. Good morning, sir. Hey, mister. Good morning, partner. Good morning. Go left here, down the main hey, street. Hey, mister. Hello. Mister. Good morning, partner. There's something peaceful. Hey there. Until it starts There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Hey, friend. Morning. 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 Hello, sirs. Hey there. Morning. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Hey there, mister. How are you? How y'all doing? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hey there, partner. Morning, sir. Hi there, mister. Morning. Hey, mister. Hello morning. there. Morning. Hello, ma'am. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Ah. Morning. <laughs> hey, partner. Hello. <laughs> All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valley. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. <laughs> Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the Check best, fellas. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Just taking a breather. Can I help you, sir? 
help people. I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? No trouble now, please. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. <laughs> Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Hope, uh, Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? <clears throat> sure. You only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Christ, that's my horn. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. <laughs> you have to help me. Help someone. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. <laughs> me please. Too. Please. My hands are slipping. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not <laughs> never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. 
Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Finally, a gold award. What the hell is that? That bird just died? A dead bird. Fuck it. friend oh you really were just borrowing it appreciate it hello mister hey there hello hey, worth my time hey there hello there hello mister <laughs> there I leave mister without me Hey there. I seem to recall hearing mention of that myself. Good to see you back. Howdy. Hey, partner. Partner. You worthless bastard. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Welcome. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. No, oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? I just ordered a bath. extra help there oh sounds good yeah thanks sit back and relax hon let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard okay I'll be out of your hair in no time. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Really now? Yeah, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Oh, I'm not <laughs> sure what to make of that. <sighs> Life can always be worse. Yes, I know. Oh, I'm thinking I don't want this to end, and 
You're thinking, when will this be over? <laughs> You're too much. Past few months, probably been the toughest of my life. Oh, gosh, you poor thing. So, what do you do when you're not working? Let's see, there isn't much to do here except count the stars, you know? Anyway, sorry, I'm talking too much. Oh, gosh, you're kinder than most of the boys I get in here. Aren't you so glad you dropped by? You do feel tense. You might untense me. You. You're getting old, old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you, you sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. Sure, there ain't no snakes in here. Sleep with that dude crying. Catch whoever's right. 